A Creo Simulation Live fluid study provides many result options to provide the user with valuable displays and results that can help drive their design decisions. First, let's look at the cut plane. The default cut plane will be on the XY plane. You can drag or rotate this plane. In addition, you can activate any cross section from Creo and use it to show the results that your legend is currently set to. The next item to look at is streamlines. Streamlines produce lines from the particle flow and are only available when the selected result quantity is velocity. Streamlines have additional options for controlling the count, the width, steps, step size, and different methods to display length. The next item to show is particles. This display is useful to visualize the velocity of particles within a fluid flow study. The particles appear for each fluid inlet in the direction of the inlet flow. You also have additional controls for particles for sizes, steps, and colors. The last display to show is the direction field. Displaying a direction field is a more advanced way of displaying results than streamlines. A direction field displays a complete image at every step in the flow. The plane that the direction field is on can be moved in a linear direction or rotated. The last result to look at is a simulation probe. Here we are interested in the maximum velocity on the surface of the outlet. This result can be shown as a value or a chart that will update dynamically as the fluid simulation continues to solve. These results provide directional guidance for designers to improve their products by driving their design decisions.